to Zoom. Ready? Go ahead. And any big occasion, big match like this one, it's the key, trying to settle in as quickly as possible, not create too much undue risk, put yourself in trouble. Opportunity for Kravchek and Skupski returning. Trying to generate some early break opportunities and nice movement by Kravchek up at the net. has been such an incredible player over the course of her career. Had some nice results in singles, of course in doubles as well. And you've got to be careful going at Shea unless you have something really point blank that you can get at her feet because she's so good reflexing. You look at the different partners that Shea has won with, and that's also an indicator of how well she can adjust in matches. And it's brilliant from Zelensky there. 14, 13. Seated three in this mixed event. And have not dropped a set to get to this stage. It's a good start, isn't it, from all players? So Kravchuk really He's going after point. her ground strokes, putting Zelensky in awkward positions, and it pays off there. Deciding point. Oh, it's just missed. That's a stretch. There, did Sher took the one hand off the racket. That was a struggle. An opening hole for Sher and Zelensky. Yeah, pressure moments right from the start in this mixed doubles final. You can see how important it is. Shot selection, especially for the player from the ground, not wanting to put their partner up at the net in awkward positions. We'll see a lot of that interplay over the course of this match. Great start from all players. And one thing that I feel like Neil and, and Des try to use is a bit more of the eye formation. Um, I'm not always convinced that that's a great idea in mixed doubles because it gives you more of a target on the return. But they're both so confident as yeah, not players that they feel that they, they've got the ability to drop into it when necessary. Second, 
hear a lot of communication going on with the hand signals. Person up at the net calling the play. The server's got to agree or ask for something different. And then, of course, it's about where to serve and then whether the net person is going to stay or move. You just always want to be on the same page. I think the standard, if you're going I formation, is to serve T. There's a lot of people trying to serve wide these days, and it just gives such an opening for the returner. <laughs> Well, I don't know how you felt, Laura, but I always felt with the eye formation as the returner, you've got to pick your spot and just go there. You really can't worry about whether the net person is going to move or not. Use your best guess, but you pick your return spot and put your head down and swing. That was my philosophy. Part of the reason for the eye formation is to try to create a little discomfort for the returner, create a little indecision, maybe get the miss or get something that's very hittable in the strike zone. Oh. 15 career doubles titles, first coming in 2018, so he's been in a hurry to accrue some wins. Oh, oh just long, he read it well, Zelinski couldn't quite keep the ball down in play, so one all. so important in these early stages to focus in on holding serve that's why we saw you know some conferencing going on even after the coin toss just making sure of which side would best suit each server now you won't see some big serving from this woman boy does she back it up well So, ladies, I suggest it's going to be difficult for the net player to, to move too much on this serve of Shays. Well, I think that's where you have to create some set plays where she serves and the net person just goes, switch sides. Still allow the net person to get a bit more involved in a planned way. It's not a fast serve, but it's a tricky it's serve here. because she keeps it quite low. There's got some slice on it. And also, you know that on the plus one shot, if you go back cross court, she is very capable of lifting it into a lob over the net player. So uh, there's <laughs> many different things that you're trying to cover. And I always found in mix that sometimes for the male, it's more difficult returning the female serve because it's a bit slower. It's a different kind of spin. And I always had to remind my partner, move forward into it. Don't wait on it. And Zelensky taking some more risk up there at the net, just trying to can create that uncertainty force difficult shot from Skubsky. Well, I'm not sure that the opposition has taken Chandler's advice and stepped in a little closer to take this return of serve. 
Yeah, it's not easy when you don't get a lot of pace and that serve is staying low. She slides it in there, Shea. Plays for positioning. Oh. Skupski still behind the baseline to return. And good reaction at the net. Shan Zelinski on serve two up for McNamee there, also working with Shea as he has been doing for some years. And Neil is so active at the net in men's doubles and in mix, but these two have played together a number of times now, so they just know instinctively where each other is trying to cover. Good lunge volley and perfectly directed and appreciated by his partner. Yeah, Skupski and Kravchek have got two Wimbledon mixed doubles titles together. So they have been through it with each other, under pressure. A lot of confidence built into that doubles partnership. Seated second for this tournament. Just lost the one set en route to this final. Oh, we saw the top spin drive volley from the shoelaces there from Shea as well. But it's just difficult to read those shots off of her racket. She can open it up, Shea, at the last moment, went to the lob initially, and then that little volley. Zelensky was actually too far back. A little bit too aggressive, too big a swing, perhaps. Definitely too big of a swing. It was more like a dry volley motion. Plenty of thought going into this point structure. between Kravchek and Skubsky, and they're getting very close to that serve clock winding down on the last point, but it paid off a little extra time. Nice. At the feet there from Kravchek. So many times in, in doubles, having a right and left handed player combining is advantageous. Different angles of direction of serve and getting used to the same uh, when you serve as a player, figuring out how to serve a little differently from a right handed to a left handed. So we've got to change things up a bit. Oh. Very first game of the match, it was Zelensky that had the most trouble in his service game, coming down to a deciding point. Trying to make things just a little simpler in this game, focusing on the first couple of points here.
Terrific stuff. And again, it was Shea who kept the team alive with quick reactions at the net. And all of these players would be well aware of Shea's hands and that one shot may not do it. Rafcek <laughs> was ready, just couldn't quite get in position for the second ball up there at the net. So much of this is about positioning. It's just the slightest of breeze there picking up as get a little more sun coming from behind the clouds. Oops. So much of the doubles game has evolved over over the years, over the last decade or so. And even in mixed doubles, we don't see as much serving and volleying. It's serving, surveying, playing for a little more positioning from the ground. Trying not to get caught digging volleys up from the shoelaces. Well, as ever, not a lot of power, but beautifully placed. And it sounded like Zelensky called for it, but Shay, she was pretty confident up there above the shoulders. I got it. And it, it's always better to not let these lobs bounce. If you can get it out of the air, just maintain your positioning. It's an advantage. <laughs> Uh, not the same stress on this service game for Zelensky. On serve, 3 2. <laughs> so, so, an even easier service hold on that occasion. A little breezy out there. It was predicted to be windy today, which is why I asked Laura the question, but we're a little protected down inside this bowl. There's Rod Laver Arena. The crowd starting to file in here for big afternoons of tennis. Just said following the mixed doubles, we've got the first semi-final of the men's singles. Just a little cloudy. Perfect conditions for play. I Got one of those caps? You missed it. Pink cap, eyes on it. I don't. No. <laughs> There's still time. There is. There is. There it is again. Uh huh. My daughter, my seven year old, would love that. Uh huh. There you go. That's got to be a serve that's uh, effective against someone who uses two hands on both sides, surely. Yeah, just getting it out of the strike zone away, getting him stretched out. game for Shea and Zelensky to try to just put a little more pressure on their opponents, make returns, get good depth, force them to have to hit shots from more difficult positions, and of course try to take advantage of second serves if they get them.
That's clutch from Skupski. Went wide on the first serve. On the deuce side, changed it up there. Second hit, hit it at there. Zelensky disappointed with himself. Yeah, he's got to make that one, especially just keeping pressure on in this situation. And Big serving, 196 down the center. And with the lack of reach to Three. share possesses, that's... Pretty unplayable, three all. That's terrific serving from Skubsky there. Just under a little more tension in that service game and he made it look a lot simpler, serving his way out of trouble. And you feel like if they are gonna break, this will be the particular game that they have more chance on. If they can make a heavy, deep cross court return, don't worry so much about the net player rushing and try and Keeps Sue back at the baseline, don't allow her any time to come forward. Eye full of sun, of course, at this time of day in that end. Just like that. Depth, but well away from the sideline. That's very innovative. <laughs> I'm not sure how, how much cooler that is going to make him. Looks good, though. the additional pressure that Kravchuk and Skupski were looking to put on the Shea serve. <laughs> Serious pressure now. Just enough width as was suggested part of this game that is going to be impactful against Shea. Just with that. Limited reach. A big opportunity here. Krepchek and Skupski. Ball. Light. Second serve. Brilliant return. Just too good, too much weight of shot in the first break coming. 4-3. Babchek and Skupski. Well, some really good returning. Babchek and Skupski. This one here taken on the, on the rise as much as possible and perfectly directed down the middle. That was just far away, far enough away from Zelensky up at the net, but also away from Shea at the baseline. Perfect placement from Kravchek. Just beautifully struck. She's been going after her shots, though, from the start of this match from the ground. She's been driving through her ground strokes, especially off that backhand side. Shea's in the, Wimble, uh, the women's doubles 
final as well. And uh, yesterday she brought her partner Mertens back to the baseline when she was serving occasionally. I don't think we're going to see that in the mix, but it shows uh, a bit of creativity, I guess. So just 26 minutes into this mixed doubles final, we've had our first service break. Jack and Skupski. Just getting the job done with some really good returns off the chair first serve. I need to discuss, they like a lot of planning this duo. That was definitely Zelensky. Yeah, what was he doing? I think he thought it was going wide. And left uh, Shay in a very invidious position. That seems like just a little breeze and perhaps bringing that ball back in at the last moment. That's annoying when the serve is in the slot at 130 k's an hour and you dump it in the middle of the net. It's disappointing for Zelensky. Lost their weight temporarily. Shane Zelinski is well wide from Shea. Yeah, a few more misses from Shea these last couple of games on her serve in the, the teeth of it. A couple of balls into the net. Fairly basic rally balls. And then that one just pulled well wide. Well, comfortable hold when you've just broken. That's what you want to see. So one game away from taking the first set. It's been a very calm and poised match from Kravchak and Skupski in the more crucial moments. Skupski solid up there at the net now. Desiree Kravchek trying to com complete the career Grand Slam in mixed doubles. I mentioned she's got a couple of Wimbledon titles with Skubski. She's also won Roland Garros and the U.S. Open as well. Some wonderful hands at the net, ultimately. Zelensky trying to at least make them have to serve for this first set. With the deciding point format, anything can happen. Things can change very quickly. Yeah, easy 
pickings there for Che that she can hit those shots in her sleep. 14, 15. Big serving, so they will indeed now endeavor to make Babchek and Skupski serve for this first set. Under a little bit of pressure, and that perhaps was the most relaxed service game for Zelensky yet. Looked a lot calmer, clearer. How's your, Roman How's your Roman numerals? Not good. Not good? That's why I didn't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> it was too quick for me. I was waiting for you to tell me. Oh. Always joyous on court, Cher, no matter what's happening. She's very quite demonstrative, really. So it's really just the best of two sets format because if it's a sit all we play match tiebreakers so the first set opportunity here Kravchuk and Skupski the hand signals from Skupski and Kravchek, but sometimes you just want a little more conferencing. Easier to, to speak and have a little back and forth. And they have used this time almost completely about well, this first set. They're playing so smart on his serve, aren't they? They're not overusing the eye, especially on this bad side. I think it makes more sense to use it on the juice side with Suwe returning. from Kravchuk up at the net and that affected the team's positioning. It's right there. Just wasn't sure she wanted to go after that ball. It was so quick from Zelensky. No hesitation from Shiv. Just full-blooded, two-handed. It wasn't coming back. Oh, that's magnificent. What a return from Shea, and Skupski just didn't quite hit his target. 18, Shea able to redirect. Yeah, just not quite enough width. She's deadly with anything within reach and with pace. She just absorbs pace, pace and sends it back with uh, the same sort of velocity. Oh, wow. Some of the best returning, certainly, from this duo that we've seen. A little flat 15, at one stage there, but 14. with this sudden death format. Oh, and maybe a little bit of miscommunication between Kravchek and Skupski. They've been so good talking in between points, but Kravchek didn't make the move all the way to her left, and Skupski looked like he was going to his right. Looked like a, a set play. Oh. 
Oh, oh it's long, yeah. sir. The break back yeah. has come. Yeah. Shen Zielinski have tied things up. We well, didn't see that coming. I came from. It seemed like Skupski serving for the first set was almost automatic. He's been so good behind his serve. But just a couple of points where there was slight hesitation. And that is all it took. So shape broken, broken last time. Just as she's about to serve, the sun reappears. Tossing it way right, get it out of the sun, looking for a heavy slice serve. That's good eye from Zelensky. See that ball was going to go Indeed. long. It's got to be a little deflating for Kravchuk and Skubsky here that, to find that they are still in this first set having closed it out, but they've got to do a bit of a reset. Well, that serve is obviously vulnerable. It's 103 Ks an hour. And need a lot of defending against that sort of speed. She hesitated again and Very just a bit near, didn't have too much time on the back end, but fantastic defending from Skarpsky. That was the lob that landed on the line that Zelensky was hoping was going to go long. That's long as well, so they've fallen into a little bit of a, a slump at the moment. And that last shot was almost too slow for Skupski. Didn't quite get up to it. And tried to use all arm, which is very difficult to do against those shots from Shea. Three consecutive games going the way of Shenzelinski. In a moment, pressure building on Kravchuk, serving at 5 6. Shenzelinski lead by six games to five. What a turnaround here. Looked like it was fairly smooth sailing for Skubsky and Kravchuk, but then Shea and Zelinski. It was so important that they held their serve. Zelensky held. Just that little additional pressure changed how Skupski served and just that bit of hesitation from Kravchek up at the net. Here we are with a complete turnaround. Yeah, opportunities don't come too often. You've got to grab them, especially in this short juice format. Money on offer today 
One of the mixed doubles here, $165,000 to the winning team. $84,000 to the runners-up. So plenty of dollars on the line, as well as, of course, the title that they're all desperate to have on their resume. It's so important for the net person to help out. Important for the server to alleviate just a little bit of the pressure. Check serving here to stay in this first set, get it to a tie break. Slide on the server, I think. Zelensky could stand in a little closer. Take the ball before it swings away from him too far. Well, and you've also you've got to keep moving into the return. You want a solid base, but you want your body weight going forward. He was just a little stationary there. Not easy to make those adjustments. That's Oh, what an angle from Sharon. What a point. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be one of the best tweeners of the tournament. That was so Incredible. quick. His yeah. racket had speed. 13, 15. This ball was a rocket and deep in the court as well. How about the angle smash? <laughs> Fabulous. Doubles hotting up. Oh, my. Oh, my. 14, 15. Too much pace even for show there. Good stuff from Kratchek. So we're all tied. First set. Tiebreaker required. Shane Zielinski won the first set of the semi final against Fullis and Harris in a tie break.
Boy, some grunting and some commitment from Zelensky, and I think Scups is not happy with the volume coming from his opposite. It was certainly an extended grunt. Yes. That was a little excessive there, but this moment is a big one. You've got to be careful, though. You can't inhibit the person hitting on the other side of the court with it. We'll see if the chair gets involved, if it keeps going. That's smart from Kravchuk, though. Trying to stabilize the team, and they get on the board. Good way to shot from Skupski and Kravchik doing her bit, making the most of the depth of that re return. Beautiful. Fabulous strike Three, for Kravchek. Two. Picked a spot early. So three points in a row here for Kravchek and Skupski, and they have gotten control of the momentum again. Couple of terrific points from Kravchek. Going for it. Change up direction of the serve really with the slot there. Zelinski. So evenly poised to say the least. Six all, three points all. Several points have gone against serve. Oh, good hands. Didn't quite get the purchase on it that she normally would perhaps show, but excellent from Skupski. That's always the place you want to try to go. Split your opponents right down the middle. Just far enough away from both of them to be an outright winner.
This is why I love Mix. There's been a bit of everything. It's so fun. Oh. Too good. She was trying to get involved, Shev, but that was too good. Five, four, crowd check, Skupski. And crowd check committing to these ground strokes. Loads on her legs, gets down, gets beautifully behind the ball, and she went for it. No chance for Shea to cut it off, and Zelensky not expecting that kind of pace. Skupski here, two service points. Chance to serve out this first set. Solid at the net again. Kratchek holding the ground. Six, four. Six, she enticed him into it, didn't she? You know, Des is the net first kind of deciding where the serve goes. So she's saying, go there because I know he wants to go line. And you just saw she was already racket face open, waiting for it. Set point, will he go wide? Good return, but perhaps not so good that an error is uh, presented. Got involved, proactive, and as a result, first set going the way of Krabczyk and Skupski. Okay. And Zelensky trailing by a set. They're on a roll here, and uh, it was interesting. Des Kravchuk at the end of the set was kind of trying to motion to her box that she needs to get a bit closer to the net, and that was exactly what she did on that volley. Almost no room to manoeuvre, but it makes it easier for the volley because you just kind of have to stick your racket out. Oh. 
Zeit. Tschüss. It's been a few too many unforced errors off the second serve return, I think, from Zelinsky today. So keeping the momentum going. So as Chanda suggested, it's been a change of service ends. Which is of course your right after a set has been completed. Now both teams wanting to put the male serving first, so they have both had to switch sides here. Because of a lack of power, she's had to develop so much control and skill and the ability to, to win with angles rather than brute force. Oh. Oh, unless we think... That for Shea, it's just effective on the doubles court. You mentioned, and, and mixed doubles as well, you mentioned her singles career, and uh, she's had some, some nice results in that discipline as well. She's got no singles win over a world number one during her career. Was much more difficult than he made it seem. One game. Take that every time. He's doing a bit of racket waving at the moment at these little bugs that are present. Small, but nuisance value. Oh, she's made it. Been so aggressive from the back of the court. Fifteen. And that's been the play at times, is going hard at Zelensky here, and he just pulled off of it. When you're in position, you've got to play those balls. The players winding the clock down to the last five seconds. That's partly why we had a 55-minute first set with only one deciding point. We're not extended games, but Kravchuk and Skupski especially, they're using just about every second of time in between points. Pushing the envelope again here. We're down to nine seconds, and she's going to need to be mindful. Oh, they're not over the time, so... Doing it right. Oh. 
That's better from Zelensky. Kept the racket out in 14, front on the 15. volley. Made it much more solid. Allowed him to get into good position. No, that's why just in an awkward position there, Shea couldn't handle it. So on serve in the second New set, 2-1. Patrick Skupski lead by two games to one. It's often the case after a close first set. This is a little, little bit flat at the moment. This is the tricky game for Shea and Zelensky as well. Shea coming up to serve. Maybe it makes it a little easier for her with the sun behind her. But this is the game where they've got to keep their attention high, keep the, keep the focus down a set. Shea and Zelensky don't want to go down a break here early. But it's been impressive from Kravchuk and and Skupski. Yeah, I think that Jen generally had slightly the better of this match and with the first set, which I think was appropriate. <laughs> Smiling assassin there. Just away. What a career she's had. Hasn't been able to use her strengths that much in this match she's so deadly at the front part of the court wheels that racket like a scythe sort of trying to cut you apart but hasn't had many opportunities to do that today and needs to hold serve here too much pace there for Zelensky those are volleys at the net that Zelensky's got to be able to handle, especially in this moment with Shea's serve. So much of it is about him helping out at the net. Oh. When you're that close, it's about the reflexes. If you've got your racket in the right position, I think sometimes Zelensky just gets too close to his body and he loses control. Yeah, even if he's not crossing, he's got to look to cross, he's got to fake, he's got to be constantly moving at the net, surely. Zelensky. Oh. Much better. 
net court helping out a little bit, but Zelensky at the net. He didn't try to overplay those volleys. He stayed solid. He stayed compact behind it. Don't want to be the one missing up there at the net. That is the worst feeling. And you're trying to help your your server. Well, that was very <laughs> casual looking. Lord he was me. walking away <laughs> as he was still hitting it. I think he felt the first first one was going to be a winner, but it's like Johnny Walker. I don't know Just about that walking. one. I, I need you a little more attention. <laughs> She's been threatened more than once on her serves. Getting through it on that occasion, though. So, two all. The chair is giving a little bit of leeway because he started the shot clock well after the balls were rolled to the other side, the serve clock. So, that helps give them more time as well. Marco Savage, it is in the chair. Oh. I think that won't help Zelensky and his endeavors to cross. I think he's been a little bit too passive at the net, not as far as going for the balls and he's got, been beaten down the line. So that's not going to encourage him to go more, but he has to. I think he's got to go looking more for the ball at the net. It's a final, but I think the umpire could be way stricter with the time here. An hour and 14 minutes for a mixed doubles when there hasn't been very many long rallies. It's, it's a bit much. Yeah, I think we're in agreement on that. Right. Now, this is the part that's extended this match considerably, this type of conferencing, even once the serve clock is off after a net cord. Uh -oh. And the sun at that end not hindering, it would seem, Skupski in any way, serving big. See their team... Uh, Doing rather better on service percentages. Oh. Well, that's a very and quick and comprehensive three. hold. So, on serve though, still second set, I three two. Delayed by three games, two two. So if we dissect this this time clock i mean they're using it within the rules most of the time here but what about the time between that
first serve and second serve. And we sort of let them, I mean, it just elongates it's, the it's, process so this long. This is what the, shot, the serve clock is supposed to alleviate. And this is every single point, which, as you mentioned, it's within the rules. But I think also the chair, he's waiting a handful of seconds to actually start the clock as well. In a match like this, to me, it should be starting immediately because these are not long rallies, long drawn out points even. And at this rate with the ceremony, they run into the then the semifinal match. Yeah, so it needs to be sped up just a little bit. And for everybody's sake, I think, for those who are spectating, the players like should be encouraged to get on with it and then improve the entertainment value. So the music's pumping, the crowd is building, the tension is building in this mixed doubles final as we're getting towards the final stages. It's the best of two sets, remember. If it's a set all, we go to a match tiebreaker. First set gone to Grabchik and Skupski. And uh, Zelensky serving 2-3. It's terrific play from Skupski, taking the opportunity here. Starting to fire up here, Skupski. Couple of impressive no, forehands from Skupski, back to back points. Inside out with it, and that time inside in. A lot of space down the line, and he held it just long enough. Fifteen, does he? Quickest of the day, but almost 205 being the quickest. Oh. That's nice. Really closing in, isn't she? Doing much better in this second set, I think recognizing that she just needed to get a half a step closer to the net and almost play it down because Suwe was picking up a couple of those balls off her feet. Trouble for Zelensky. is a big time overhead not easy from that position and he is he's going for it and one of the more difficult shots in the game a bounce smash from way at the baseline doesn't end by much living on the edge still a couple of break points to negotiate And going for too much. And just the stress of the returning of Skupski drawing the double fault, surely so. Big moment now. Setting the break. Grab check and Skupski. They can see that finishing line. Yep. 
Titi Elam. Well, you'd imagine that this may be the, the best Thank opportunity you. to break back. And Zielinski, Skupsby's been serving so well. I want to leave it. I have to break him. He said that. That's what they managed to do in the first set. Again, solid up there at the net. Kravchuk going right at him. She's got some misses from him at times during this match, but not here. Now, what a point. 18 shot rally, one of the longest of the match so far. 18, 14. And some terrific hitting from both sides of the court. Fencing for positioning. Zelensky coming up with the goods once again. One service break last game. Are we facing another? Good reach from Skupski, who is determined to take that. 30, 40. Oh, my goodness. Shock from Skupski. The celebration, the come on now. <laughs> He's happy with that. Well, may that be the critical moment. This is another sudden death point right here. And Zelensky, unhappy. And this is just the second deciding point of yep. the match. Mm -hmm. One in the very first game. Mm -hmm. Now this one. Oh, and the break back has come, so they're still alive. Chenzelinski, 3 4. Kravchik, Skutski lead by 4 against 2 3. It's been a high quality match, so many good points, and, you know, tension filled moments where one or the other team 
has played themselves out of trouble for the most part. That was a tough one for Kravchuk. Did so well to hold herself, hold the team in that game. And then a little more of a routine miss off the backhand, but that's how this match has been. Back and forth. Now back on serve in the second set. And Selinski needing to keep him the emotions in check. He's be, has becoming becoming a little bit flustered and frustrated. And that uh, break back should help. Time. It's an hour and 27 minutes on court. And, uh, been a very good quality mixed doubles. It's tight. We expected that. Two teams that have made their way to the final in a very straightforward manner. And all have had great experience in doubles and mixed doubles. Shea serving 3 4. And more proactive there. Zelensky, and he needs to be. Bit of sustained pressure now from Shea and Zelensky. Well constructed points here, patiently biding their time, and then Zelensky up at the net, just a little more active in this game, and it pays off. Mobility at the net from Zelinski just really helping his partner out there. He's more energized, a little flat a while ago. So they have break in the first set, were pegged back, simply in the second set, been pegged back. So Need to regroup here, Skupski. She just holds it so long, doesn't she? And you know, it's not going to be a huge shot, but it is so effective. Her placement. Contact point, the disguise on it. It's got all of the, the above.
15. Yeah, Zelensky knows that so close to at least getting this ball back in play, but well done from Kravchak getting it right at the feet. Fourteen, fifteen. I have to say, I've never seen a team take every second of the twenty five seconds. Kravchek and Skupski is doing it just about every single point. This is another important one. It's even more important now. It's sudden death. Of course, it's male to male, serving to Zelensky here. It just seemed like he was overthinking the placement of that second serve. Missed by quite a long way in the end, and just a lack of racket head speed coming over the top of the ball. So it's from 4 2 lead not long ago. A misstep here. He'll be trailing 5 4. You knew that was coming. But they've stumbled. Chet and Zelensky now with the lead, 5 4. Chet Zelensky lead by five games. Just gives you a real sense for how much pressure and tension changes everything. So many terrific volleys from Kravchek. That one just clipping the tape. She got a little tentative with it. Double fault from Skupski. That didn't help. And here is Shea and Zelensky right back in it from a 2-4 deficit. They now have the match, the second set of the match on their racket. Well, things can turn so quickly, as we mentioned, in this short juice format. And uh, as Chandler mentioned, a little bit of tension, perhaps. Having seen the finishing line just within touch, and things have got away from them. So this small crowd that's been building as this match has been in progress, enjoying this contest. They said it gone the way of Kravchik and Skupski. It's now Zelensky that's endeavoring to tie this match up.
13, 15. Oh, look at this. Anything will do. Got the racket face where she wanted. Couldn't quite control it. Sit with serious pace. There's going to be another twist. Second serve, 171 k's an hour and sliding wide to a left-hander. It's too good. 14, 13. Remember, he double faulted to lose the tie break in the first set. An aggressive second serve. That had just enough shape to bring it in. So set point. It doesn't need to be quite so good from the baseline. Skupski can afford to take some pace off, get some more angle on the cross court forehand. Such a smart shot from Zelensky, and he's giving himself a lot of margin. Good height over the net, and not close to the lines. But swung at it. Good racket head speed, and in these pressure moments, you've got to keep the speed up. To the flight of the ball seemed to be stretching. Three zero. 
Lar, is it Kravchuk saying go or, you know, just before Skupski's hitting the ball? Is that what I'm hearing? Yep. Yep. Be a little distracting there. These two well established as a mixed doubles pair. A couple of major titles in mixed under their belt. Can they use that experience here? Still a good bit of time in a 10 point tie break. from Zielinski gave Skupski very little time to be anything other than defensive. And this was a lot of pace from Shea. She went after it. So the lead now, substantial. So good from Kravchuk. Not an easy two balls she's just played there because the first one it looked like Neil was going to take it. It was a last minute change of heart. And then again had to play this one almost from behind a partner. So two service points coming from Shea. Kravchuk and Skups. Will be keen to get both of these. Four, two, shit, Zelensky. Skupski and Kravchek needed that one. First point on the return here in this tie break and way early on the move from Zelensky. So one more serve from Shea for zero becomes four two. That's a better play from Zelensky. He faked and then held his ground down the line. Just created that little distraction, helping to cause the miss. Just a reminder, it's first to 10 points. Skupski did, and it, the risk did not pay off. He's been returning for me a bit bigger, Zelensky, and building pressure. Skupski feeling that pressure, I think, so in trouble here now. This is being a bit grim for Kravchuk and Skupski. 2-6. Well, they need this point on serve. Still in this, if they can hold their ground here. Not up. Excellent move from Kravchek. Brave move up there at the net, just forcing herself into the conversation. Yeah, it's tough to cross when the rally's going down the line. You've got a lot of extra court to cover. 
Well done. Cups, he's got it. Brilliant, what a moment that may be. And that may be. A complete momentum shifter there. Shea not able to put this one away because Skupski didn't give up on the play. Look at where he is to play that shot. <laughs> it's in the first row. <laughs> awesome. Um, and then the backhand from Kravchek. She leaned into it, laced it. Oh, she'd like that one again. Seven, four, seven, Did everything seven. right up until that last volley. Played a perfect point. It was a tricky return that she's just snuck in. You'll be thinking about that volley for a while. Well, they kind of stole the last point, so maybe with that one, it's a little even. I mean, you got to think of it in some kind of positive way here. Still plenty left in this match tie break. She wonderful hands from Skopsky. He was targeted. Seven, five, seven. Kravchek and Skubsky keeping themselves which in touch, within touching distance here as they change sides. Excellent reflexes. Self-preservation, <laughs> but it works. <laughs> it was self-preservation. <laughs> that was going to be ugly. Well, what a tight break this has been. Zielinski had a big lead. It's been whittled down to something that's manageable for Kravchik and Skupski. They had a warning. Zelensky again just showing the tension and Kravchek smartly targeting him there. It's just a mini break separating these teams now. And on the Suwe serve here. Zelensky led four love, six three. Kravchak has been so good with the backhand, but whenever hey, she's there to just pull ahead, it gets a little tight. It looked like she was thinking about going line with it and then changed her mind. 
who's been so decisive going after that shot, and that one was tentative. Skupski under pressure, a couple faulted last up at bat. Oh. Oh. It's big when it means so much, 196 out wide. Hey, Paul. Oh, my goodness. Clutch serving. Great serve from Skopsky. So, championship point for Czech and Skopsky, who've won some majors before. If Czech can win, she will have won a major. At each of the slams in mixed. Not yet. No, <laughs> you got to respect that Neil was ready to run through into the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> he was still hopeful. He was able to steal a point in this tie break doing just that so he's not giving up on anything Kapski continuing to use all of the available real estate on Rod Laver Arena. And that last smash perhaps coming out of the sun and into the shade. This made him miss time. So championship point now. And Zelinski. It's Shane and Zelinski that are the champions in mixed doubles of 2024. Well, I deserved that sort of finish, I think, didn't it? Match tiebreaker, 11 points to 9. And for Zielinski, that's his first Grand Slam title, and he will be rightly delighted. And for Shane...